Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be bringing you a video that Samsung has forced us to make, and that is how to disable Bigsby. Yes, if you are like a lot of people right now, you are very upset with the fact that Samsung does not allow you to disable the Bigsby button on the new Galaxy Note 9. So that is really annoying that it just cannot be done because I've accidentally pressed it so many times and I'm just fed up with it. Now, if you love Bigsby, don't worry, we are going to be doing a new best features of Bigsby for the Galaxy Note 9 video coming up in the next few weeks. So subscribe to check that out. However, if you just don't want to even try Bigsby if you're not interested in it, well, there is a solution to disable it. However, it unfortunately costs $3.50. Samsung, you owe us our money. Uh, and keep in mind that Samsung might push out an update eventually to do this if the backlash is pretty big, which I'm guessing it would be, but it could be a month or so. So just again, keep all this in mind. So all you have to do is go to the Play Store and search for Package Disabler and then get Package Disabler Pro uh, for Samsung. Again, this is $3.50. Um, now, there are a lot of other package disablers. However, most of them didn't either seem trustworthy to me or I didn't really care for them. If you have one you like, please leave it in the comment section down below. This one was uh, perfect. It's just how an older one I had was. And the main three things you want to disable are Bigsby Home, and all three Bigsby voice uh, parts. So that's what I wanted to disable. Now I disabled a couple of others that I just didn't care for. Um, and how you find it is just by searching in your all, search for Bigsby. And you can see everything that is related to Bigsby. Now I will say this, I actually do like Bixby Vision. I, I actually find it very useful, so I will not disable that. You can, however, if you do not use it. So if you want to disable those as well, you can feel free. Again, disabling these things will help out overall because again, you don't have something running in the background as always. So it should actually help your battery life as well. Uh, overall, I just love having this button not do anything now. So like when I accidentally press it, I don't, accidentally uh, launch something that I didn't want to or my screen is on on the Bigsby screen when it comes out of my pocket. So I like this a lot better. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. A helpful tip is as well to try to find a case like this one that uh, distinguishes the Bigsby button as well so that you don't, uh, you can feel the difference from the volume rocker so you know, oh wait, not this one, this one. That's just another helpful hint. Let me know, uh, are you going to download this app? Are you fed up with Bigsby? Are you gonna wait till Samsung launches an update to disable it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.